आई गेस वी आर येस वी आर लाइव नाउ हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू बैंक एग्जाम स्टडी डॉट कॉम टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट एंड द फंड फ्लो स्टेटमेंट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स आई एम गोइंग टू डू इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दीज टू चैप्टर्स राइट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द सीरीज द स्टार्ट विद द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन जस्ट अ सेकेंड गिव मी अ मिनट बिफोर वी कैन स्टार्ट so let me share the link on my telegram channel follow me on telegram students my telegram channel name is bank exams today only so before starting the very first question let me just check if everything is working properly and uh, let me just share the link on my telegram channel my telegram channel name is bank exams today this is a session 26 uh, let me just share uh, please like the video this is really really important for me so okay so i have sent it yep so we are we are live now so question number 1 as per the amendment to clause 32 of the cash flow statement of sebi which of the following is correct listed companies shall give cash flow statement along with the balance sheet and profit and loss account in the annual report the annual report that every listed company uh, releases right there sh- uh, the cash flow statement should be part of it whether it is true the cash flow statement will be prepared in accordance with the accounting standards in accordance with accordance with the accounting standard cash flow statement should be part of annual report cash flow statement should be presented only under indirect method or the cash flow statement is uh, to be presented only direct method so th- these three are correct because you can either use indirect or direct as per accountant accounting standard 3 you can use only the indirect method so only a b and c are correct d is not correct because direct method is not used indirect method is used i'll be doing i have already done a proper lecture on that obviously everybody is teaching that indirect method in which we divide the whole activity all the activities into three parts operating financing and investing that's what we are going to discuss in the next slides a financial statement showing the inflows and the outflows of cash during a particular period of time financial statement showing the inflows and ca- uh, outflows of cash it is uh, balance sheet profit and loss statement cash flow statement fund flow statement so what we are talking about a financial statement showing inflows and outflows obviously it should be between c or d so it is cash flow statement we are not talking about fund flow statement we are talking about it is it is made on the cash basis so it is a cash flow statement it is all about the inflows and outflows of cash the cash flow statement is all about the inflows and the outflows of cash we are not talking about accrual basis or anything we are talking about inflow and the outflow of cash it is made on the cash basis now this question is very important the whole lecture is about this oh, this uh, particular table if you know this table the whole chapter is gone i mean you can you can understand the whole chapter within this table this table is most important part of this whole lecture i would say this whole lecture is based on this table only i would say right the whole lecture is based on this table only so <clears throat> yeah thank you abhinav so operating activity investing activity and financing activity so we can divide the cash flow activities into three part operating investing and financing suppose you make pen you you have a you know you have a factory and you produce pen you have a plant you produce a uh, ball pen you produce ball pens all the activities that are related to manufacturing and selling of ball pens are operating activities let's say uh, the purchase of raw material purchase of purchase of raw material the purchase of raw material payment of labor purchase of raw material or the payment of labor that are operating activities okay then what are uh, what are uh, these investing activities what are investing activities operating activity investing activity financing activity the money do that you are spending on long term assets on long term assets the money you are spending on long term asset uh, on let's say you bought a machine you bought a machinery to produce pens to bought a machinery in your plant to produce pen bought a machinery bought that is what that is investing activities then you took a loan you took a loan 
you took a loan to buy this machinery that is financing activity i gave you a very good example uh, making the ball pen uh, you purchase raw material you pay your labor that is operating activity that is related to the day to day activities of the business you bought a machinery that is what investing activity then you took a loan to buy that machinery that is a financing activity are you getting it now give a look to the table operating activity purchase of equipment for cash now we are talking about equipment machinery what is this this is investing activity collection of cash from debtors payment of income tax what is this this is operating activity issue of share capital repayment of loan loan is what that is financing activity so that is clear enough okay that's quite clear okay let's move forward which of the following are cash and cash equivalent so what is cash and cash equivalent is it cash and bank the money in the cash and the bank stock stock what is stock uh, we are not talking about shares we are talking about inventory uh, inventory would be a better word but my bad stock or inventory whether inventory is cash equivalent let's say uh, you have an inventory of oil uh, of mustard oil there is a shopkeeper uh, you have a shop and let's say you have 1000 ton of mustard oil or desi ghee let's say and can you sell it tomorrow can you sell 1000 tons of desi ghee tomorrow can you sell can you sell within a week within within a week at market price at at market price or at profit at market price or at profit most probably no if you have in the huge quantity most probably no it takes time so stock is not the cash and bank and the short term investment a short term investment is a marketable security and please maturing within any short term investment which whose maturity is within 3 months is uh, is a cash equivalent is cash equivalent cash the cash that you have or the bank balance that you have or the short term investment all these are cash and cash equivalent stock inventory this is not cash and cash equivalent it is a although this is a current asset but this is not cash equivalent right so both a and c is a correct answer both a and c uh, is a correct answer inventory or the stock uh, is not a correct answer many students here confuses the stocks with shares we are not talking about shares we are talking about inventory my bad okay it is inventory not just stock so on the basis of following information very important question uh, total cash flow collected from debtors so uh, the c in the beginning of year uh, you need to uh, have 20000 rupee that's how maybe your mothers at home they might be making uh, you know double entry accounting yeah? very simple in the beginning of year <clears throat> you need to get 20000 rupee from your uh, uh, from the debtors uh, the closing account is uh, like i think 30000 the closing account is 30000 in the beginning you need to get 20000 this is debtors account in the simple words forget about that uh, those entries just assume uh, that uh, uh, you made an account of your friend uh, in the beginning of your you need to get 20000 now you need to get 30000 okay you need you made another uh, you know let's say sale of uh, 2 lakh rupee you made another sale of 2 lakh rupee that's that's what you, the money that you need to take from him you made a sale that the money that you need to get from him now 2 lakh 20000 minus 30000 so what is this 1 lakh 90000 this is 1 lakh 90000 this is the cash the cash that you receive this is the cash that you receive we need to make it equal that's that's why it is double entry accounting system no need to remember those complicated accounting entries just remember that you got 190000 as cash from your debtors that's it that's it that's how you can make a, the you know that's a proper way to make a debtor account i have already told you the balance brought forward right this is 20000 rupee the balance carried forward that is 30000 rupee made a sale of 2 lakh now the account increased to 2 lakh 10000 so just you need to deduct it 2 lakh 10000 minus 30000 that is 1 lakh and 90000 that is the cash received and that's what is our what our answer is very very easy okay there is a simple formula before that but you can remember it but you should know the concept learning the concept is very very important okay with the following rules is are true while preparing statement of change in working capital what is the formula for calculating working capital i hope you know that current assets minus current liabilities current assets minus current liabilities 
करंट एसेट्स माइनस करंट लायबिलिटीज इज इक्वल टू व्हाट इज इज इक्वल टू वर्किंग कैपिटल राइट एंड नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट इफ देयर इज एन इंक्रीज लेट्स से द करंट एसेट इज 10 करंट लायबिलिटीज लेट्स से 6 वर्किंग कैपिटल इज 4 ओके दिस इज करंट एसेट दिस इज करंट लायबिलिटीज दिस इज वर्किंग कैपिटल If there is an increase in the current asset, let's say the current asset increases. Uh, this is the very first point. Second point, third point. There is an increase in current asset. Let's say the current asset goes to twelve. The current asset goes to twelve. The current uh, liability is same. The working capital would increase. Increase in uh, current asset would lead lead to increase in working capital. Decrease in current asset. Let's say from ten, the in, uh, the current asset decreases to eight. Current liability is a six. Now the working capital is just two. Decrease in working capital leads to decrease in uh, decrease in current asset leads to decrease in working capital. Next, increase in liability. Current asset is same ten. The liability the liability goes to from six to it goes to eight. Now the working capital decreased. Increase in liability leads to decrease in working capital. So all three are correct. All three are correct. Okay. All three. There is no nothing like E. So the correct answer is D. Okay. Very easy questions. Uh, which of the following statements is are not true? Fund flow statement is a wider concept. Yes, fund flow statement is actually a wider concept than cash flow statement because while making the cash flow, it is based on the cash basis. When we received the money, when we paid the money, fund flow is wider. It is is based on the accrual concept. If, if sorry, if the inflow of the fund is greater than outflow of the fund, then excess goes to the working capital. Inflow. Suppose the inflow of the fund is greater than outflow of the fund. You have more cash. You have more cash or bank balance. Then that money should goes to the working capital. Obviously, it will go there. Issue of debenture would result in uh, inflow of funds. Yes, debenture is a sort of loan. Debenture is a sort of loan. When you give loan to the public, they give you money. The conversion of debenture into equity. There is no inflow of fund. You just converted the loan. You just converted the loan to the shares. so no money the money does didn't change the hands so no conversion so d only uh, the d is false only the d is false i don't know why it is a b c is written so it should be like c d and e so only d is false only and only d is false conversion of debenture into equity is not an inflow of funds because this transaction will not bring any change in the source and the application of funds i hope you are able to understand whatever i am teaching right ask your doubts in the super chat right ask your doubts in the super chat everybody is giving me correct answer now it's time to give it's your turn give me the answer of eighth question i am watching your answer a lot of students uh, rahul uh, that sundar na uh, nabarun bhardwaj gorav priya i mean a lot of students are there you can ask that tell me your answer right fund flow statement is based on uh accrual basis and cash flow is i already uh, gave you the answer in my previous question fund flow statement is based on the accrual basis while the cash flow statement is based on the cash basis so fund flow is based on the accrual basis what is accrual basis and cash basis is very clear enough right let's say you made money the interest accrued let's say the interest for the year 2019 2020 uh, is accrued on 31st march but you didn't get money on 31st of march you got money on 5th of april so uh, 5th of april uh, 2020 right uh, accrued for the last year but you received in 2020 2021 so this money this interest belongs to the previous year the 2019 2020 this financial year okay so we need to put it there so that is what accrual basis is cash basis is all about when you receive the money in fund flow statement the provision for taxation can be taken as very important question little complicated a lot of you are going to give wrong answer the provision for the taxation that can be given treated as part of change in working capital that can be if it can be you know treated as part of working capital Uh, this can be shown in working capital only when this is treated as current liability it can also be treated as non current liability and at that point of time this adjustment should be given in the profit and loss account right so this can be both treated as a current liability as well as a non current liability when you show that in the uh, you know uh, profit and loss account 
सो इट इज इट कैन बी इधर बी और डी ओके लास्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच आर द फॉलोइंग इज आर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फंड इश्यू ऑफ बोनस शेयर वेन यू इश्यू द बोनस शेयर डू डू यू पे समबडी डू यू एक्चुअली पे समबडी वेन यू डोंट पे एनी बडी द मनी इज नॉट चेंजिंग हैंड्स बोनस शेयर समबडी सेविंग टेन ईयर शेयर यू गिव वन मोर शेयर टू हेम बट यू आर नॉट गिविंग एनी मनी नो मनी इज गिवन रिडेम्शन ऑफ शेयर okay redemption of debentures you i mean you repaid your loans the people who took uh, you bought your debentures you paid them back you paid the dividend you paid the taxes all these are application of fund all b c d they are correct very easy so i hope you like the way i am teaching for sevi grade a take my full course on bankexamstudy.com where i am providing complete course for phase 1 and phase 2 it is every section every lecture is based on the latest syllabus and i am also providing the test series which is part of the course 10 tests for each phase each paper all the notes are available in the downloadable format uh, you can access the videos in the offline mode in the mobile application descriptive paper evaluation is also available we got nine final selections in sebi grade a 2018 and you can join the course on bankexamstudy.com all the links are available in the description demo notes are also available in the description i also i have already made a question bank which is available in the description the links are available in the description please check the description to download the free pdf for sebi grade a 2020 that's all the list of students who cracked sebi grade i'm really happy for them i'm proud of them actually so ibps rrb scale 2 scale 3 uh, 2019 i'm really happy for them bank of baroda wealth management really happy for them nabard grade all these students uh, they cracked their respective exams i'm really happy for them congratulations everybody and i want your picture to be here in the 2020 sebi grade 2020 somebody of you would be here so best of luck for your preparations uh, my whatsapp number uh, already uh, already given in my previous lectures uh, let me just uh, give it again if you need it anyway uh, so it's 90 let me just give it to you it's 90 90 Six seven two zero one triple zero. That's my WhatsApp number. So that's all for today, students. Thank you, and have a very very nice day. Good night.